Okay, so today I am going to Legacy Station. Okay, so here we are. Let's go on in. So I actually have a train that is under repair at the moment. Uh, I just put out a review for it. But uh, anyway, we'll talk to Mr. Brian in a minute. But anyway, here is their big selection of trains. They also have a test track here. Here's all the cars and stuff. Here's the new 21 inch cars. Um, they're too big though. May get them later. Here's a bunch more trains here all along the back wall. And over here you have all the track. I think this is Atlas Track. No, that's Scale Track, so I think this is Atlas Track. I don't know. But uh, I might get that for my layout eventually. A bigger layout. Here's some, here's a um, 072, 054 curve switch. That's kind of cool. It's, it goes in, it's, go, it's like a curve, but it has a switch in it too. Here's the store owner, Mr. Brian. <laughs> that's right. We're testing out this um, New York Central Hudson, the uh, Empire State Express one. And the MTH, you can load up those smoke units because they can handle it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mike Wolf told me that. This is awesome. That's a lot of smoke. It really puts it out, doesn't it? Yeah. Much better than lying out. The legacy mod is not loaded on this one. I might go get it and load it. Because you get a better horn when you put your legacy mod in. I mean, it sounds great, runs great, but you put that legacy mod in, you get a lot better. Is that top light supposed to be flashing? Yep. yep. <laughs> That's a feature. Cool. I found something. An LCS um, piece of track. Uh, there are little sensors on the bottom of train, a line out trains, and when it runs over the sensor, it can do stuff like play whistle sequences or grade crossings. It requires that. It requires a um, a Wi-Fi module. So uh, I might get that in the future. You never know who you're gonna see in a train store. I met this guy. He likes trains a lot too. He actually has a YouTube channel. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Go check it out. <laughs> These California Zephyr cars are epic, but they're super big, as well as these. These are maxi stack cars, but you can put these on. But again, they are super big and need 054 slash 072 curves, so maybe later. Okay, well, added MTH engine. There it is. Okay. Wow. Awesome. And now we're running it. What's so neat about it is you, you want to go 10 miles an hour, you just tap that. Wow, that was really awesome. You can download it on 
your phone, it's free. This is the um, big boy from MTH. Um, this has a couple things going with it that are pretty neat. You can see the little hole there for the whistle steam. Maybe I'll turn on in a second. And um, this thing also has, um, I don't know what you call it, but like the chuffs are... But you can do it. Yeah, they're, they're like go, or Yeah, right it, like unsynchronized or something. It's really cool. You'll get to hear that when it starts in motion. So now you can hear they're running together. And now you can hear that they're kind of further apart from each other. Pretty cool. You can kind of see it there. So this is the Lionel 2015 anniversary, um, what is it, nickel plate, um, uh, nickel plated engine? That's, uh, oh, what is it? It's really like chrome, but they have a different name for it. It's a lot but uh, anyway, it's very shiny as you can tell. They actually give you white gloves so that you can not get any fingerprints on it. And since it's so shiny, you can see the reflection. So there's the camera, there I am, and um, there's everything behind me. Does this have the same whistle as the nickel plate road? That I can... Oh yeah, yes it does. There's whistle steam for you. Pretty cool. You can kind of see it there. Oh, 54, I think. So this is where they keep all their trains in the back. You can see some line boxes and whatnot in the back. Here's some fast track boxes. Just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. The most important thing he says. <laughs> oh. Another curtain. Oh my goodness. Check this out. Oh, okay. because we get pallet loads of trains and stuff. Right? Yeah. Well, so we had to handload everything. All the stuff had to be taken off. You know, when you get sets and stuff right. like that. And so, now so here's the same 21 passenger cars that you saw in the front. Here's some more just passenger cars and stuff. But anyway, so a lot of trains here. If you want to, you can look at the, uh... Oh, Joe, look at that. He's got one of those. Well, I don't, but I didn't. They're great. Right. Well, it was yours first. So you've got trains over here, we've got trains down here. Trains, trains everywhere. What's the biggest train that you think you guys have right now? The, probably the big boy. I mean, it's always going to be the big boy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. How much is this? I wonder how much this is. Here's a bunch of Polar Express stuff. Yeah, yeah, let me see that. How much? I wonder how much it is. Yeah, that's one of the old originals that we rebuilt it. For a I bet Eric's gonna buy that. <laughs> he said he doesn't. He uses the 180 watt power supplies. But see how nice that is. Uh, no, he recently. That, uh, is that American made? Yes. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Recently, he's been buying a bunch of transformers. Yeah. For a power video, I think. Um, let's go. Repairs and the parts. This is kind of cool back here. I wonder how many trains you guys, you guys have in um, repair right now. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Oh, and um, I think we also will get to check out my train that I've had in for repair. Well, old original parts from post war trains from wow. you know, 50 years ago. These are all from an old aquarium car. From oh, check that out. Wow, how'd you have to come up with all these? Well, when we, out stuff and old no, stuff. We, when we bought the store, old pieces. Is that what so, this is repairs in here. So this is the repair shop. Mm -hmm. 
Are these the rotary gondolas that Lionel put out? No, those are MTH right there. Wow, this is nice. Mm -hmm. I like this. Organized. That's so it looks like... That's a lot of power. Though. Looks like this is their test track. And here is my engine. You may, might have saw <laughs> That's right. He found his own engine. Yeah. Really? You might have seen that in the recent review that I put out for it. What's wrong with it? Smoke unit. Smoke unit. Oh. Yeah. So you'll be seeing that when it gets repaired. Um, I'm hoping I can get it back before I finish oh, yeah. the review of the Vision Line Reefers. Um, I'm actually going to show you an unboxing tonight. So that's in the, that's the next. Look at this car. Peanuts, yeah. Peanuts! I don't know what to get you for Christmas. Kind of You're a hard move shop though? for. Not really. I can always get I'm, more track for my okay, electric train. I'm thinking about getting this. Not today, but definitely for my layout. So, I got a little Legacy Station card. I got a track and power catalog. And I also got the Vision Line Reefers. I'm going to be unboxing the Lionel 3-pack of Pacific Fruit Express reefer cars.